We're gone now forever. <laughs> Hello friends. Today I'm I'm still feeling good. I'm really tired. I have not been able to wake up at 6 a.m. this entire week. My alarm has been going off and I have like four back-to-back -back alarms that go off between like 5.50 and 6 and then 6.50. They all go off and I don't get up. Like I wake up Turn it off, wake up, turn it off, wake up, turn it off. I feel like personally I need to wake up early, like very early, if I want to get things done. And I get tired so early. Now I get tired at like 8 p.m., but I don't go to sleep until like between like 10 and 12, which is better. Yay for. Yay for progress because I was going to bed at like 3 a.m. a couple months ago. It might have even been a month ago, but I haven't done that in a while. I think I'm still kind of trying to figure out like what I want these videos to be about. I think my last video was pretty good. Like I was for the most part satisfied with it. It was super long, <laughs> but I didn't want to break it up into two videos, but maybe I should have. I don't want to put anything on this channel that's like meaningless to me. I try to like mix it up in each video with a mixture of like real moments and like light moments that are fun and chill. But this week just hasn't been that week for anything substantial. That's fine. Um, the week is still young. It's only Wednesday, by the way. I don't think I said what day of the week it was. It's April 13th. I think I'll just figure it out as I go along what I really want this channel to do. I think I had it right initially with like wanting it to be an outlet basically and a way to like physically document my progress and just this stage of my life. I just feel like I don't do anything interesting enough to <laughs> film. I don't know. I mean, I think sometimes I drop the occasional gem, but overall I feel really good today and I've felt really good this week. My energy levels have just been low. I feel like I'm in a transitional phase right now and it feels very awkward at times and other times it feels just very stagnant and other times it feels exciting and other times it feels scary it's, it feels it feels all the things it feels like all the things it's not a bad transitional phase um but i think any change feels weird sometimes i feel good about all of the things that god is doing in my life and in my loved ones lives and I just feel like good things are on the horizon and I'm just I'm chilling I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm just like floating in the ocean and just kind of going with the flow most of the time I'm just trying to take things day by day and really trying to like remind myself in certain moments to slow down give myself time to recuperate in times when I feel like I'm just zooming. I feel like I'm zooming all the time in my head, like it's a little tiny journey on a treadmill and the treadmill is on like 10 speed if that's even a thing. I don't use a treadmill but <laughs> and she's just like boom, you know? And then there's a bunch of other journeys. It's like that scene from Spongebob. <laughs> where like there's a bunch of little spongebobs running around in his brain and they're like looking for something. That's also going on. And so sometimes I need to just stop and be like, okay, 
all the little journeys get in line and let's let's clean up <laughs> and i realize that probably makes me sound like i'm insane like hmm okay journey has a bunch of little journeys running around in her head and they all have something to say that's just how it feels sometimes that's the best way i can describe it i'm proud of myself though because I have been taking those moments to slow down and just give myself time and give myself grace, I think, in moments where I feel not good. <laughs> I think these last couple months have really been good for me. Even the, the lows and the highs have been transformative and I'm really grateful so I need to figure out my class schedule and figure out some other things I need to handle. Adulting, I guess. Yuck. <laughs> I don't mind all of the clothes in the background. I'm drying clothes right now, but I, oh, okay. I'm hallucinating. That's good. I've been really enjoying like doing super mundane things like folding clothes and I think yeah I did mention that in a previous video and I was like folding clothes is therapeutic it kind of is I was sitting here folding clothes and I just had some chill music on and I was like I like this moment my window is cracked the wind is blowing into my room and I was like this is a good moment am I becoming boring at 23 years old. I'm only gonna be 23 for one more month. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna cry on camera. Let's not do that. It's not that I'm boring overall. I'm just starting to enjoy doing boring things. I'm still fun, right? Hello friends, it's time for another fireside chat. I don't have any fire. I had an epiphany this morning and it's kind of a late one, I guess. I, in most scenarios, I don't challenge myself. I'm a, yeah, I don't challenge myself. When it comes to changes that I feel like are going to challenge me in a way that I'm not prepared for, I, I don't like it and I usually don't go for it. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is I think, I don't even think it's an I think situation. I think I, I think I know. I am extremely afraid of failure. And I know that's really stupid because I mean, I'm human and no human is perfect. We all fail. Also disclaimer, my clothes that I need to finish putting away are right here. So yeah, it's funny because a while ago, I said to myself, I was having my get ready thoughts. <laughs> and one of my thoughts was, it's only failure if you don't get back up or if you don't try again. And every failure is an opportunity to learn something. And so is it really failure unless you decide to just stay down, stay on the ground. I need to be more open and accepting of challenges, things that are going to grow me, um, whether they are like scary or not. <laughs> but I just, I struggle a lot with that. And that is something I realized today. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. I think a lot of people are afraid of getting out of their comfort zone, but I'm glad that I have acknowledged that and hopefully that means I can get started on trying to take new opportunities more because honestly, at the end of the day, like what's the worst that can happen? It may not go as you planned it, but at least you tried and you probably learned something from it. And I think that's how I need to start looking at situations for my own well-being. Because I think by not taking certain risks, I'm hindering myself from growth. 
that is something I'm going to be adding to my list of things that I need to do to be better. <laughs> and the list is just getting longer and longer, but that's fine because I want to be better. I want to be, I want to be the best version of Journey possible. I feel myself getting closer, um, sometimes in large steps, sometimes in little steps, but I'm getting closer and I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm proud of myself. I'm excited. And I think I just need to accept the fact that I am going to fail sometimes. And that's just part of being human. It's crazy because we're always our worst self-critics. Like, you know, when it comes to myself, I'm like, journey, do better. Like, no, you, you're not allowed to mess up. That's how I look at myself is I feel like I'm not allowed to mess up. That's an extremely damaging self view. I don't know if it's because I have these deep rooted insecurities or if it's just because I'm afraid of messing up. I don't know if it's just fear or maybe it's a combination of both. I don't really know yet. I haven't gotten that far. I have I have this vision of myself, of who I want to be in my head, and that version of Journey is so amazing. And sometimes I take the steps needed to be her, and sometimes I don't. More often than not, I, I don't. That's where I'm at right now. It feels good to at least know that I recognize these problems and that I'm willing to work on them because I feel like there was a time in my life when I didn't recognize them and I because I didn't recognize them obviously I didn't want to work on them I didn't even know they were there the other thing I wanted to share was I think I figured out why I've been having migraines because I'm still having migraines and I think I figured it out and I think I already knew the cause of it and I just didn't want to accept it like I was in denial but it's the caffeine, y'all. It's the caffeine. I've been drinking coffee again. I think it's starting to trigger migraines because I'm either becoming reliant on it or I'm having too much of it. Either way, it's not worth it. And I think I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try to stop drinking coffee. For me, the effects of caffeine really don't last that long. Like, the energy it gives me doesn't last that long. And I don't want to be that person that has multiple cups of coffee a day. So I think I just need to find another way. It gives me this short window of time where I feel like really happy. Sometimes it's like only like 10 minutes. Sometimes it's like a couple hours where I feel really good and motivated about life and really happy and like just nothing can get me down and I think that's why I've been drinking it. I need to find healthier alternatives other than drinking coffee. I don't know why I'm always putting up hand signals. Usually the peace sign and thumbs up. I don't know why I do that. I've been doing that for a while. I think someone pointed out to me in like high school or at my job I'm pretty sure it was at my job. They were like, yeah, Journey, she always goes like this. I don't know. <laughs> I really need to just eliminate caffeine from my entire lifestyle because it it really doesn't do anything good for me. The benefits of it don't, aren't worth it, you know, because of the cons for me. If you drink coffee, good for you. I'm not trying to bash anyone who drinks coffee. Like I said, I'm just very caffeine sensitive, so I don't think I'm, I'm just not ever going to be able to be that person who has caffeine. I'm going to start drinking my tea, but non-caffeinated tea, which is really sad because I really love chai tea, and chai tea has a lot of caffeine in it, and so does green tea, which I also like. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to clap instead. These talking videos, I think they need to... They need to get significantly shorter because I'm, I don't like this. It might as well be a podcast, which I started listening to podcasts and I, I didn't understand the appeal before, 
because I just I was just like they're not for me I was like podcasts aren't for me but now I'm like well it's like listening to the radio basically except it's good this feels like a podcast like my champ these vlogs feel like podcasts with visuals which I mean that's kind of what vlogs are right I held up the peace sign way too many times in this segment, and I'm, I don't know. I mean, look, my sweater, <laughs> my sweater even has the peace sign up. Peace, love, justice. Look at this bob. I'm a bobby. I went to Hobby Lobby with my mom the other night, <laughs> and I don't know why I just started acting super silly. I was like, it reminded me of when I was a kid because when I was a kid I was just extreme I was extremely random and I would just say things but I think that's just part of being a child. When we were at Hobby Lobby I was like next time we should go to Bobby Lobby. <laughs> Let's go to Bobby Lobby and I started laughing so hard because I just thought that was hilarious and it wasn't but for some reason I was just in a silly goofy mood. I'm going to open a store called Bobby Lobby. I don't know who Bobby is. I don't even know a Bobby at this point in my life. I've known Bobbies, but right now I don't. Bobby Lobby. Hopefully I don't get sued. So I was just sitting here talking to myself, as usual, which I'm basically doing now is talking to myself. As a young kid, um, I think I was like extremely extroverted. Like, to the point of it being kind of annoying. And then I was, I think I was an, an ambivert is what it's called. When it's like, you're kind of in the middle. Like, you don't lean too far to either side of the introvert, extrovert spectrum. And now I feel like I'm a complete introvert. Like, I don't, I have nothing. My social battery gets drained so fast now and I I I enjoy being by myself I mean I still have a desire to like go do things social things and have fun with my family and friends but for the most part I'm like I'm in my turtle phase where I'm just like okay I'm I'm going into my shell and it's not a bad thing it's just it is a thing I feel like I've just wasted too much of my 20s so far being self-conscious and being depressed. And I felt that way for a long time. I just haven't had the guts to say it to anyone out loud. But yeah, that's that's where I'm at. And I'm just, I really need to like get the ball rolling on feeling better about life because I don't want to be 30 and find out I wasted my entire 20s years I will never get back being depressed that's what I don't want and I'm not trying to wild out you know I'm just trying to be free and be happy I don't feel like I have enough moments where I'm free and happy because I hold myself back out of fear.